Welcome back to my channel. Today we are reacting to parts of Amberlynn's new vlog. So I'm going to answer five weight related, body related, food related topics that I've been seeing, whether it be like my Instagram, cause I do Instagram Q and A's or um, I like to post on my community posts, just where I've been seeing um, certain questions in that realm. So I'm gonna be answering five of those and then we will get to how my week went. So the first question is, how much have you saved for weight loss surgery? So I think I'm gonna keep that private and the only reason why I'm bringing that up right now is because I do have weight loss surgery update. So when I first, you know, filled out the patient packet and all that, they said that it'll be like three to six weeks before they will contact me. And we were reaching about five weeks and I was like, okay, not getting anything, but I decided to email them because I didn't want to like call them. They could be busy. They could just check the email whenever they want. So I did email them. And when I emailed them, they responded with, oh, I actually have your um, packet right here. And they started talking about insurance. And I was like, but I thought you guys don't do insurance anymore for weight loss surgery because that's what they say now for like if you live in Kentucky and I was just like really confused so they were like okay how about give me a call and we'll talk more about insurance so I ended up calling and then we talked about insurance a little bit and then I ended up having to call my insurance company and talking to them long story short we're still stuck at the spot where it's like my insurance or no insurance um, in Kentucky no longer covers weight loss surgery. So all of that, like I already knew, but I guess that's a new thing. Yeah, it's just reconfirmation on that regard. So she said, okay, so after you call your insurance company and you get an answer, call me back. So I've actually tried calling back three times and there has been no answer, which is unfortunate. And I also decided to just give her another um, email and I said, you know, my insurance doesn't cover, so I will be self-pay. So what is the next step? So that has all happened within the last two days. So now I'm just waiting for a call back or an email back. That's not really an update. I hope you get some information and a plan going soon so we can know if this is actually going to happen or not. Weight loss surgery is not a fast process and I am really curious to see if Amberlynn will do what it takes to even qualify. Next question is, would you go back on Ozempic now that you don't care about rapid weight loss? Honestly, no, because there is a massive Ozempic shortage and people with diabetes who has been taking Ozempic for a while aren't able to get the medicine because it's now like a new fad thing. Um, I heard through the rumor meal, meal, mill, rumor mill, whatever. I've heard that celebrities who are already thin is taking Ozempic. Why? Why? <laughs> That's really weird. So I would not take Ozempic just because of the shortage. If the shortage was stopped and everyone was getting the medicine they needed, then we can re-talk about it. She told us that she had other options if Ozempic didn't work for her. She stopped because of rapid weight loss, and now she doesn't care about that anymore, so why not go to your doctor and ask for one of the other weight loss options? Ozempic is not the only thing that can help. Maybe just talking with your doctor you can figure out another way. Also what about keto? You were doing great on that and you don't care if your gallbladder hurts now, so why not go back on that? Third question is, do you have rewards planned for hitting your weight loss goals? I don't because I have tried to do this in the past where it's like, okay, if I lose 20 pounds, I can get a new purse. I end up buying the new purse even before I hit the goal. Um, in the past, I've done like once I'm down 100 pounds, I'll do like a whole hair makeover or I'll get a piercing I've wanted. And I know that's not going to happen because I know that if I want something enough, then I'm going to get it regardless. Maybe that's because it's easy that way, you don't want it enough, you just can get it right away, weight loss is not easy. You have to do the hard parts too, telling yourself no is hard and you have no motivation to get or do anything. You are getting paid to make videos in your home. You can buy anything you want whenever you want and you always have someone that can do things for you. You are fine being at this point in your life and you show it to us every time you don't take the chances you get to change for the better. Because it's hard. Last question is, do you think it's fat phobic that people think Feline is either using you or a feeder? I do, because if I was a normal weight, 
people wouldn't think that Feline is using me. People wouldn't think that she's a feeder. And it just sucks because it's like, it's pretty much proving that based on the number on the scale, you guys are making me feel like I'm not valued as a human. Like I don't have worth as a human. Like I don't deserve love or that someone can't find me attractive or even just think that I have a good heart because of the number on the scale. And that is very, very fat phobic. And it also goes along the lines of like shallow. It's just like very shallow, it's disrespectful, and it just doesn't make sense because there are people out there who do not care about the number on the scale and they find beauty in other things about me. Like, I'm just gonna use me for an example. Like, sure, being 500 pounds isn't beautiful. It's not a beautiful thing, but you can still be beautiful at 500 pounds. I will always forever think that. I don't think I'm beautiful. I don't think I'm pretty at all. I'm that is what it is but there are people out there that i have seen at my size who are beautiful who have great hearts and great personality and they deserve love um we deserve love just as much as someone who's 150 pounds and i just think it's so crazy that just because someone is with me that makes them a feeder or they're using me i have nothing to give <laughs> they can't be using me i have nothing to give by insinuating that feline is using me or a feeder you're also insinuating that my exes were that way as well people would still think Faleen is taking advantage of you you were just out of a relationship and everyone knows you are not someone that stays alone for long this situation could be with anyone and people will think it was too fast and heavy and felt a little off i don't think people would be making the feeder comment if you were not the size that you are but you have also oversold how supportive and good for your weight loss she is Okay, so as for this week, we did the whole takeout thing on Sunday, which was my last weigh in that you guys saw, and that was not triggering at all. What triggered me, and I mean this from like the bottom of my heart, I am so grateful for anything that you guys send me in my P.O. box. Like, it's just so kind that you guys even think of me, whether it's a letter or something you guys saw on Amazon that made you think of me. Like, it doesn't matter what it is, it is so sweet. But someone did send me candy bars and I don't want to blame this person because it's not it's not the person's fault. Because I could have easily gotten rid of the candy bars, but they massively triggered me. And it was like I had a couple candy bar binges, I'm not gonna lie. And that led into a spiral of binging on other things, ordering takeout and it was like every other day it was like one day i would do really good next day i was binging one day i would do really good next day i was binging and literally it's a candy bar binge <laughs> because i don't buy candy bars um obviously there are times where i would love a candy bar but feline is like do you really need one <laughs> um so having tons of cadbury can candy bars in my pantry was extremely triggering and i I wasn't strong enough and um yeah and to go back and forth like one day be, do so good and next day do so bad and just like that back and forth was wear and tear on my body i will tell you that like my gallstones i was feeling ill um i really truly was i called it who sends candy to someone with an eating disorder i would never do that the thought was nice, but still, also, the candy could have been thrown away after the first binge. The fact that you went back and forth says that it maybe was not just that one trigger that made this happen. I know with trying to get weight loss surgery, I know I'm going to have to see a psychologist. And this is a whole other subject because I already have one, but I'm not going to be able to see the one that I have anymore. And I will explain that in a future video. I do not want to get into that right now because it actually makes me really sad. Um, but by trying to get weight loss surgery, I am going to have to see a psychologist who special specializes in bariatric patients. And I think they're going to be able to see more like what is really the issue? Is it binge eating? Is it a food addiction is it both and i think i'm really gonna take advantage of this whole weight loss surgery path maybe getting a new psychologist is a good thing i have seen lots of people saying that they have gone through the same therapy and don't really think that some of the things you are saying are a good reflection of the therapy you should be getting so maybe a new person can show you a new perspective of things i'm going on because that is what i feel like is ultimately what is going to change my life and 
Right now, obviously, I couldn't go under the knife. With the way that I binge, it's not gonna happen because I need to be able to get in the right headspace and the right mind frame before I do that. And I don't know if that's gonna take me a couple weeks or a couple months or a year, I don't know, but we're gonna figure that out. So as for my weigh-in, last week I was 514.6, this week I was 515.8. I was only up 1.2 and I think it's because I was going back and forth. Um, one day I was doing great, next day I wasn't. One day I was doing great, next day I wasn't. If I would have had a like the whole week at a horrendous rate of just binging or like overeating or whatever, I would have been up so much more weight. So it's like as much as the yo-yo of it all made me feel like crap. I'm almost grateful it was a yo-yo and not just like a full-fledged binge week because that would have been very bad. I really hope you can figure this out with someone new because so far you have not really shown any changes that we can observe through these videos. What do you guys think? Leave your thoughts in the comments below.